Moin, I'm Salen. You? Those are Elwins. By the flames. You're his firstborn. Clive Rosfield. You're mistaken. Oh, you can't fool me, my lord. You're the very image of your father. And that would be true even if you weren't wearing his clothes. The self-same garments Hannah was keeping for you, if I'm not mistaken. She always swore that she would never part with them until the day Elwyn's sons returned. And now that day has come. <laughs> Why, you'll be able to take your bearers back as well. My bearers? Forgive me, Master Mayor. I was a child when last I came to Eastpool. I didn't recognize you. Oh, I'd be surprised if you recognized anything at all. Much has changed since Rosaria fell to the Empire. Not least for the bearers who once served her noble families. When the Iron Blood sacked Rosalith 13 years back, Many who lost their masters fled here, in search of sanctuary. And never returned. Aye. The plan was to send them home once we'd won back the capital. But then the Imperials arrived. Rosaria became a province of San Brek. The duchy was dissolved, and they no longer had any home to return to. Back in your father's day, any bearer who lost their master became a ward of the duchy. We'd hand them over to the sheriffs, and they'd be assigned a new position. But when we saw how the Empire treated their branded, we knew that wasn't an option. So they've been here ever since. And now you want to give them to me? They're yours by right, Lord Rosfield. Bequeathed you by your late father. And they'd be better off serving you than hiding here. Indeed, many of them used to serve your house, and still consider the Rosfields their masters. I'm no one's master. Not anymore. They wouldn't be safe with me. I understand. You'll forgive an old man his fanciful notions been daydreaming for too long, but still, I would ask a favor of you, a small mercy. If it is within my power. One of the bearers is an elderly fellow who still swears absolute loyalty to Archduke Elwyn. I don't ask that you take him into your service, only that you meet with him. Let him see that Elwyn's son still lives and that he's as fine a man as his father ever was. It would be my honor. Thank you, my lord. He sits by the well most days, watching the people go about their business. If you could show him your face, I would be most grateful. <laughs> as fine a man as my father. You're not so very different, you know. Especially dressed like that. Come on, let's go and meet that bearer. He's not here. Well, I can't leave without meeting him. I've let the mayor down once already. It would be cruel to disappoint him again. All right, let's ask around. Someone must have seen him.
Good day, milady. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a bearer, an elderly fellow who used to serve the Rosfields. Have you seen him? Ah, that old loon. No, no sign of him today. Funny, he's usually down by the well at this hour, cooking up his fantasy feasts. I'm sorry? Oh, he worked in the kitchens at Rosalith Castle back in the day. Still thinks he's there now. <laughs> You'll often hear the poor fool chatting away to the Archduke. Living in a dream, he is. But better there than here, I suppose. Can't imagine the Viceroy stopping to trade tales with a bearer. Can you? No. Anyway, you'll be round here somewhere. Doubt he has the path to stray too far. Thank you. We'll keep looking. Well now, unfamiliar faces. What brings you to Eastpool, travelers? We're looking for an elderly bearer. You wouldn't happen to have seen him, would you? Ah, you mean the old boy who always waits by the well? Yes, that's him. What, uh, what business do you have with him, if you don't mind me asking? You're not from the capital too, are you? We are, in a way. Well then, it's a pleasure to meet a fellow Rosalithian. I was born and raised down Market Street. I never would have left if Archduke Elwyn had survived the fire. It wasn't the same when the Duchess took over, though. All the beatings, the evictions, the levies going up and up and up, even as the Blight took half the harvest. Oh, listen to me, telling you what you already know. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't help you with your bearer, either. Though I doubt he'll have gone far. He comes here every day, almost as if he's waiting for something. We'll keep asking around, then. Thank you. Oh, hold on a mo. Patrick the Chocobo Keeper might know where your bearer is. He's taken the old boy under his wing, so to speak. You should go and have a word with him. He'll be in the stables. Patrick the Chocobo Keeper. Thank you. We will. I'm sorry, Jill. Making you do all this in my stead. It can't be helped if we're to keep up the pretense. Come on, let's head for the stables. Hmm, where the bloody hell's he got to? Excuse me, but is something the matter? It's this bearer I've been minding. I take my eyes off him for one minute and he disappears. He's not in his usual spot by the well, nor anywhere else in the village. You must be Patrick. I am, but... And this bearer you're looking for, he's an elderly man who used to work in the Rosalith Castle kitchens, yes? That's the fella. How do you know all this? I've never seen you in Eastpool before, but you seem to know the place better than I do myself. Ah, so that's how it is. Well then, if you're acting under orders of the mayor, you're on about to help me find him. He's been losing what little sense he had left of late, saying the sheriffs are coming to collect him and that he needs to go back to the castle. I was supposed to watch over him, keep him out of trouble. But if he's walked out on us, there's not a lot I can do. Understood. You keep searching here. We'll look for him outside. Thank you. I'm in your debt. I hope he hasn't wandered into trouble. Let's just concentrate on finding him.
Still no sign. Could he have strayed even further? someone over there it might be him we should hurry company we can't lead them to the old man they need to die agreed you know what to do boy get him boy it's over Are you all right, my friend? Come on. Let's go home. Your Grace. You came for me. I waited for you so long, but you finally came. I'm... not who you think. Clive. <sighs> yes. Pray forgive my long delay. It's nothing, Your Grace. I prayed to the Founder that you would come, and at long last, he answered. Will we be returning to the castle, then? There is still a place for me in the kitchens? No, my friend. We will not be returning to the castle, not yet. I'm on a very important expedition, one which may take some time. Could you... Wait for me in Eastpool. Until my journey is complete, I will come back for you then. I promise. Of course, Your Grace. For you, I would gladly wait until my dying day. Thank you, both of you. You've been most kind. The memory of serving the late Archduke was as one light in the darkness. And now that light burns a little more brightly. It's nothing but a fantasy, of course. But it's better than the truth of the matter. A damn sight better. The blight is on our doorstep. Our harvests are failing. The people are leaving in droves. If it weren't for Lady Hannah selling half her worldly goods to provide for the few of us who stayed behind, we would long since have starved. We want to keep the bearers safe here, we really do. But unless a miracle happens, we won't be able to spare a crust of bread to share between them soon enough. Is it really that bad? So bad, I even petitioned the Imperial garrison to take them. 
But when they found out where they'd come from, they damn near spat in our faces. Ducal dogs, they called them. Enemies of the Empire. I know a man named Sid, who would gladly give a home to any bearer in need of one. Leave this with me. As soon as I return from Phoenix Gate, I'll speak with him. Thank you, my lord. Will you be passing through Eastpool on your way back? I should very much like to speak with you again, if you have the time, regarding the future of the village, and what might be done for Lady Hannah. After all, she's done for us. Yes, of course. I'll be back anon. Fare you well, my lord, my lady. I wish you a safe journey. Deadlands are aptly named. I didn't realize they were this close. No wonder their crops are failing. The blight is leaching the ether from the soil. And when the last drop is drained, their fields will turn to this. No plants, no animals, no life. And no monsters. I suppose that's one small mercy. We won't be able to use any magic here. Another thing to worry about. As if the absence of ether didn't cause enough problems. Take away the lad's life force, and problems are all that's left. I can hardly imagine what this place used to look like before the Blight took it. I remember. It was beautiful. Come on, Clive. It's time to discover the truth. Almost as if time had stood still. I suppose no one had any cause to return here. No. It's just as I left it. Could I have done this? 
Could anyone? What is it, Orgel? He's the only one who can tell me what happened. I have to know. Where is he? Nowhere to be seen. It's like a bloody eel. What is this place, anyway? Some sort of shrine? Oh, sorry. You've never been here before. This is the Hall of the Gate. The Gate? It's a relic of the Fallen. Only the Phoenix's dominant can open it. Hence the castle's name. This was where Joshua was supposed to... Yes. He would have stepped through this door the next morning and listened to the words of our ancestors. Would you have gone with him? No. The Apollo tree is holy ground. None but the dominant may enter. I and the other shields would have stood guard here and prayed for my brother's safe return. Where the hell did he go? Perhaps he went inside. He couldn't have. He'd need the power of the Phoenix. Are you sure about this? Never more. Another gate. Let's see if this one opens. hardly call it a ruin. It's perfect. Like it was built yesterday. Have you ever seen anything like this?
Welcome, Togo. Get him. That's enough. Don't let them get away. Get him, boy. Must be what the fallen ruins were like before they fell.
think they're friendly. Get up, boy! Joshua have had to run this gauntlet too. No. At least not that I ever heard about. I imagine the Phoenix would receive a warmer welcome. Here we go again. Where will we end up this time? Surrounded by contraptions hell-bent on murdering us, I expect. Could the hooded man really have taken this path? We won't know until we've followed it all the way to the end. Come on, let's keep looking.
don't like this. Feelings mutual. It's done. What are these creatures? And why do they keep attacking us? They're probably asking themselves the same thing. We're the ones trespassing here. They're just protecting their home. Jill, look. Is that some kind of mural? It's worth a closer look, whatever it is.
All right then. This place holds even more secrets than we thought. something. So, it isn't a dead end after all. Apparently not. Seems 
to lead to this room. And look what's in it. How old do you suppose this is? A thousand years? More? I don't know. I've never seen anything like it before. Who is that in the middle, do you think? Some sort of god. You're him. The second dominant of fire. Who are you? Joshua chose me to be his shield. He gave me his blessing and asked me to keep him safe. I should have protected him that day. It was my duty. Joshua died. I killed him. And I blamed another for what I did. To spare myself the guilt. I feared the Bai. Accepting it, I would lose what little was left of me. So I ran. From everything. And now? Are you ready to accept the truth? I am. I know it won't be easy, but it's what I must do. So that Joshua's soul can finally rest in peace.
awaits me. I will press on. Come, Ifrit. Show me who you truly are.
escape, eh? It's all right. I'm done running from you. Together. Clive, are you all right? Jill. It's nothing. I'll be fine.
No more chasing shadows. The hooded man isn't here. We should go. Clive, are you sure you're all right? Whatever it is, you can tell me. <laughs> I had a hard enough time telling myself. I awakened as a dominant of fire, right here in this castle, and I've been running from it ever since. But now I know for certain who I really am. The second icon of fire, who killed my brother and burned this castle to the ground, was me, Ifrit. Clive. I took so many lives that night and destroyed so many more, including yours. And I must atone for the crimes I've committed, but not before I learn the whole truth. How can a second icon of fire even exist? And why was I chosen as its dominant? Who is the hooded man who brought us here? And what does he want? I need to know. And since I'm still breathing, I might as well make myself useful. We'll find your answers together. I want to learn the truth too. There'll be time enough for atonement when we're done. I was hoping you'd say that. I don't think I could do this without you. You never were one to hide from the truth, even when we were young. And you haven't changed a bit. You're wrong. I have changed. But I don't want to be that person anymore. The things she did were unforgivable. And yet, they're what brought us back together. Thank you, Jill. If he is here, then... The disturbance I felt at the care must have been... Confounded. The hour is later than I thought. delivered who, who delivered the coffer said he said sit paid him I let you run amok with the rest of your rats and this is how you repay me find out where he is Crush him! Flay him! Rip out his heart! Him and all his filthy brood! And 
send every last one of them to help. No! Yes! Yes, my lord! So, what next? We returned to Eastpool. I promised the mayor I'd talk to him again. About Lady Hannah, amongst other things. Though she may be loath to leave, I can't help thinking she'd be safer with Sid, too. All right. We should arrange an introduction, then. Torgal, what is it? Nothing good, I'll wager. Come on. Who would order such a 
such a thing. Sheltered them. By Empress Annabella's command. My mother ordered this. Why? Why? I don't mean. You know what? There, boy. Yeah! 
I'm sorry, Lady Anna. You deserved so much better. All of these people did. Better than my mother. Gav! Clive! Acting on the orders of the Duchess, eh? We knew East Pole was harboring bearers. Thought they were safe enough hidden up here, but someone must have let slip. If they'd have only come to us sooner, none of this would have had to happen. Fuck! My mother always did despise bearers. The way father embraced them, when the other nations spat on them as slaves. The way an accident of birth gave them a power that others lacked. But why kill everyone? They meant no harm. They just wanted to be free. This world judges that a crime punishable by death. Which is why we're going to change it. Gav. We want to help. Thought you'd got your own stuff to be getting on with. We do. But it can wait. In that case, we should head back and tell Sid you've had a change of heart. He was always on it yet to join us. All right. And we'd best be quick. Last I heard, he was planning another excursion. What about the villagers? Oi! Can I leave you's lot to take care of things here? Of course. We'll make sure they get a proper burial. Thank you. All of you. When you're ready, then. Now, rats, lead me to your nest. Lord Kupka's message for your leader. If only he knew where to send it. <laughs> Sid Sola, then. We have a lot to discuss. I heard Otto barking at his head. <laughs> You've done had so many uses. Take a seat, Clive. I'll fetch you a moment. This place is getting more crowded by the day. I tell myself the bustle's a blessing. There'll be time enough for quiet contemplation when I'm dead. So, did you find the answers you were looking for? I still don't know what to make of this... gift, curse, or whatever it is I've been given. But there is one thing I can say for certain. I am a dominant. Ifrit. And there is nothing I can do to change that. It is a burden I must bear until my dying day. <laughs> Spoken true. 
Forgiveness and in turn salvation can only begin with acceptance. It's a path we all must walk, no matter how colourful our histories. Sid, you once told me that you wanted to build a place where people could die on their own terms. I did. I've been thinking about that. Why not a place where people can live on their own terms? For 13 years, killing was all I knew. So obsessed with death that I never stopped to consider the lives of those around me. Lives that I see now were scarcely worth living. Be they bearers or beggars, most but march blindly to their end, never realizing that they too deserve a choice. And I dare not turn a blind eye to their suffering any longer. So, atonement then, is it? That was the answer we found. The only one we need. I'll be expecting you both to pull your weight. And we will. <laughs> well then, with a sprinkle of fire and ice, this plan of mine might just work. <sighs> what trouble are you looking to get yourself into now? The best kind. We're going to sneak into the Imperial capital and pay a visit to Mother. of our farmholds in the eastern provinces has succumbed to the blight. Without their yield, we will be hard-pressed to fill the capital's granaries before winter. If there is a capital by then, the black creeps closer as we speak. And yet you do naught but ball and cluster. If it is fertile land the Empire requires, we need but look south. Uh, if you mean the crystalline Dominion's holdings, we are bound by mutual accord. Theirs is a neutral state whose borders we have sworn to respect. Gentlemen. Did we swear to see our people starve? Well, I really do think that... The gates of Oriflam buckle at the flood of those come seeking refuge from the blight. If there is not grain enough to feed those within our walls, how, pray tell, will we feed those without? But instead of setting your minds to riddles such as these, you lock horns with an enemy from across the sea, sending our soldiers to the slaughter in their thousands. The Empire bleeds, and you sit here prattling like crones in a tea house. And you fancy yourselves leaders of men. <laughs> Sandbreck is naught without her citizens. We are but their servants. If their land is being wrested away, it is our duty to claim new lands for them. Your radiance! You cannot mean a war of conquest. That is exactly what I mean. It is time we expanded our dominion. This is the will of great Grieger. There will be uproar. Then we must find a way to distract the citizenry. But how much will that cost? And what of our legions? Shall we raise the furs? Well, someone will have to contend with the Dalmex. 
I will not keep you. You all have much to do. Where is my son? The Lord Prince is currently garrisoned at the Strait of Arthur. If it please you, I can send word requesting his immediate return to the Holy Capital. That won't be necessary. Tell him instead to see to his wounds. Bahamut's strength will be needed again soon. As you command. I must have misheard. You mean to tell me that the Mother Crystals are the reason the world is dying? Are you mad? I have been called that on occasion, but no, not today. We've all seen it firsthand. Empty wastes where once were green meadows. Land drained so dry of its ether, not even the rats remained. But where was it all going? I spent years searching for an answer, until I saw it standing right in front of me. There, in the self-same crystals, we look to for their so-called blessing. All right, listen. Take this crystal. How does it allow us to conjure magics? Answer, by drawing ambient ether from the air. Where do these crystals come from? That's easy. They're mined from the mother crystals. They're one and the same. Although, admittedly, this here fits more easily in the pocket. But the mother crystals are massive. Some as large as mountains. So you see the problem. Imagine just how much ether can be drawn by something that size. As to where it's all going, mind, well... I can't know everything, can I? We are taught that the Mother Crystals are divine. Their ether, a gift from the heavens. For centuries, nations have fought and fallen for want of that gift. If what you say is true, how did no one else see it? Who says they didn't? Maybe the truth was inconvenient. Inconvenient to whom, exactly? Ups, the gods themselves. So now you want to do something about the crystals? And what? We're not helping bearers and dominance anymore. I didn't say that. I made a promise and I intend to keep it. But if we continue down this path, there's only one fate that awaits the realm. And we can't very well set our people free if they're all lying dead in a blighted ditch. Not if we want to create a place where they can live on their own terms anyway. Sort of defeats the purpose. So, if we have to bring the old world crashing down in order to build us a new one, what say you? Are you with me? I suppose it's about time I repaid your faith. <laughs> you could have just said I. But it's nice to have you aboard all the same. Into. I'm going to need more than a few potions for this.